welcome back to the channel. Today we're above the HS2 construction near Banbury, right where the railway crosses the A361. What you're seeing now is a full 360 degrees aerial orbit of the 2025 site, giving a sweeping look at one of the most remarkable pieces of civil engineering happening in Britain today. Here's the same shot from 2024, just one year earlier. Already then, the scale of the work was impressive, but comparing these two gives you a real sense of how fast things are progressing on the ground. Focus on this area now. You'll notice the large stockpile of curved, interlocking, precast concrete tunnel segments. Each of these five parts reinforced curved slabs fits together to form the arch shape of the tunnel structure below. These are the building blocks of what is known as cut and cover tunnel. And over the last year that stockpile has visibly reduced. That tells us that pieces are being installed faster than they're arriving because sections of the tunnel are now being formed and buried. This tunnel here is part of the wider HS2 approach of blending the new high-speed rail infrastructure with the existing landscape. Rather than boring deep below ground with massive shields, HS2 is using a shallower cut and cover technique. Dig a trench, assemble the tunnel pieces, then cover it back up with earth. It helps reduce environmental and noise impacts for nearby homes and farmers. One of the longest sections of this type of tunnel in the whole HS2 program, the Chipping Warden Tunnel, stretches for about 2.5 kilometres and recently reached a major milestone with the realignment of the A361 over its top. The road was closed for 11 days and now sits permanently above this new stretch, letting construction continue beneath it. What's really striking in this footage is how the tunnel is changing, not just being assembled, but beginning to be covered. You'll see vegetation in permeable membranes laid over the installation sections. These are as protective barriers stopping water and roots from affecting the structure once the earth goes back on top. It's an important engineering step before landscaping and reinstating the surface. Now this little corner of HS2 is just one piece of a much bigger national project, High Speed 2. Approved in 2012, it's intended to transform rail travel in the UK linking London and Birmingham with high-speed services and relieving pressure on the existing West Coast mainline. But it's also one of the most controversial infrastructure projects of recent decades. Cost estimates have ballooned over time and political decisions have scaled back the original network. Cutting the northern leg to Manchester and Leeds to focus on the London to Birmingham section. Originally, HS2 was forecast to cost around $33 billion and open by 2026. Those figures have changed radically. Recent reports have put spending at over $40 billion already, with the remaining work expected to end deep into the 2030s. Some independent estimates suggest the final costs for the London-Birmingham link alone could exceed $80 billion once inflation and scope changes are factored in. With completion now likely past the previous targeted 2033 opening date. Despite the headlines, HS2 isn't just about the cost debates. It's driving jobs and skills across the country, with over 33,000 workers and more than 3,500 firms involved in construction, from local supply chains to specialist engineering. And once complete, HS2 is expected to unlock new economic opportunities, support development around stations, and free up capacity on existing lines, 
allowing more local and freight services to operate. Back here at the Banbury site, the story is clear. Year-on-year -year progress, less stockpile, longer tunnel, more change on the ground. These visual comparisons are a great way to track how infrastructure evolves, not just plans on paper, but steel, concrete and earth moving in real time. If you enjoyed this visual comparison and engineering breakdown, let me know in the comments what part of HS2 should I film next? And if you're fascinated by big projects like this, hit that subscribe button. I post updates like this as the landscape and the numbers shift. Thanks.